Okay, folks, bear with. I'm trying to do a computer presentation. Uh, I just need to clarify a few things from my last video, which I expected to raise a few eyebrows. But I, I've been accused of doing a Dominic Cummings and trying to interpret the rules to fit myself. So if someone out there can please unravel this for me, I would really appreciate it. Because I, I have contacted the CRT, but it's weekend, so they're not going to bother. But let me just explain what the issue is. So, Canal and River Trust update, 19th of May. Now the government has taken the first small steps in easing the lockdown. If you're not already living aboard, you are now able to visit your boat providing your mooring providers agree to support access and go for a short cruise. This update takes you through the key milestones out on the cut in terms of what activity you can expect to see and also a few reminders about important factors to consider as well as continue to follow government guidance and strictly observe social distancing. Okay. Now, We've got to follow government guidance that somewhere it says, yes. Can you answer yes to four questions? I've confirmed with my mooring provider, Marina, that I can access my boat. Is my boat near enough that I can travel to and from it safely in one day? No overnight stays are permitted. It's 20 minutes down the road in the car. Can I get my boat whilst strictly can I get on my boat while strictly observing social distancing yes easily am I on my boat in England absolutely so there's one piece of very specific information I can visit my boat providing I can answer yes to all those four questions so let's now take a look at the government guidance 1.9 are day trips and holidays okay? Can people stay in second homes? Day trips to outdoor open space in a private vehicle are permitted. You should practice social distancing from other people outside your household. Leaving your home, the place you live, to stay at another home for a holiday or other purpose is not allowed. This includes visiting second homes. Now, I accept that narrow boats for some bizarre reason are classed as second homes we it's not our home it never will be our home we just holiday on it it's 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 like saying you're going to the ritz in london and that's your home it isn't you're just staying there but if we accept that the narrow boat is a second home we're not allowed to visit it which is in complete contradiction to what the canal and river trust are saying We now turn to the update on the 28th of May. Boaters update 28th of May. From the 1st of June, you will be able to undertake longer journeys. This update sets out what you need to know as you start to cruise for further distances. Now, that, that doesn't say continual cruisers. It doesn't say anybody. It says boaters. I am a boater. I pay their licence fee. I have a boat. I am a boater. From the 1st of June, you'll be able to undertake longer journeys. So I've already been told I can take short journeys and go back to the marina or my home mooring. Now I'm being told I can do longer journeys. No mention of having to return to my own mooring because that would be ridiculous because if I'm making a longer journey, I'm not likely to be able to get back to my own mooring. Things that you need to know. The only thing in there that affects me is... Uh, Unless your boat is your primary residence, i.e. you permanently live on it, overnight stays on your boat are not currently permitted. Right. Which leads us, if anybody's watching this video and they haven't watched the other one, it, it would make more sense if, if you watched them the other way around. Or if, you do, if you're not interested, just give me a, give me a thumbs down because we're getting used to that. So there's the dilemma. And I would love someone, I have contacted CRT, I would love someone, if there's any of you eagle-eyed experts out there, because, well, I won't be going on Twitter because everybody's an expert. 
I'd love it if someone could explain that to me. Does that make sense or is it nonsense? I rest my case. <laughs>